For Andre Lupas, director at the Max Planck Institute for Developmental Biology, it is a milestone. AI developers from London solved a decades-old problem in biology. The AlphaFold 2.0 system can predict protein folds with high accuracy. Uh, proteins are the essential components of all living systems. In order to do their activity, they need a defined three-dimensional structure. And the acquisition of this structure, the so-called protein folding, is a highly complex process. The protein folding problem is actually a, an ensemble of different sub-problems, which are generally lumped together into one question, but in fact there are several questions hiding underneath. The first is, if we know the sequence of a protein, what is its three-dimensional structure? That's the classical formulation of the protein folding problem. And this problem, AlphaFold2 has pretty much solved uh, far, far better than AlphaFold1 two years ago, which had been only incrementally better than other groups, whereas this time AlphaFold2 was way ahead. If we can explore things computationally, we can move out in far different realms and maybe find solutions that are very far from what nature has shown us. We will be able to understand upfront what the structure of sequences is that we see in genomes that we recognize as important for the evolutionary scenarios we are building, right? We are trying to track the deep evolution of molecular systems in life. And much of this information comes from comparing sequences. And so far we could compare them, but we wouldn't know what that meant structurally and therefore functionally for the proteins. Those were always very tenuous inferences we made. Well, now we can know much, much better. We essentially broke through a problem uh, that uh, occupied us for years in 10 minutes. The other questions which arise from uh, the protein sequence are, for example, a question of dynamics. Proteins are nanomachines, they do work, and a static structure will only show you what this machine is like in one particular state. But actually, we would be interested to know all the states. And these dynamics um, are not being predicted by AlphaFold2. Nevertheless, I can see a few things that will happen very rapidly and where I'm very confident. One of these is that every scientific area that saw it worthwhile to invest enormous effort and, and uh, resources into solving three-dimensional structures will be greatly empowered because now the structures can be computed rapidly. Anything we could do with the experimentally determined structures, we can now do much, much faster with this new software. But it doesn't mean that we can do fundamentally new things. This said, what we have seen in the past in biology is that having data a lot faster than before has provided not only changes in quantitative changes in speed, for example, but it has provided qualitative changes in allowing us to start asking questions that we had not thought of before because before it would take us uh, two decades to get the data needed for something. I would say we'll have to see how this evolves and in particular what kinds of things can be added to this fairly static structure prediction of a protein. You know, if we can add dynamics, we can start asking questions that so far have been extremely difficult. It's very difficult to measure the dynamics of a protein. 
If we can predict it, that would be fantastic.